welcome back to the channel. I'm Mast Gaming, and today I bring to you the Battle Mage Sorcerer hybrid build for PvP as of the Markarth patch. Now, we've just hit 240 subscribers, and I just want to say thank you to all of you. Thank you so much for the help that you've been giving me and the support you've been giving my channel. I am so thankful for it all. But let's get right into the video. Now, as you can see, we are running 16,000 max magicka. 19,000 maximum health and 30,000 maximum stamina. We've also got 4.7k spell and weapon damage with 800 magic recovery and 990 stamina recovery. We are a orc with 64 points into stamina and we are running the warrior mundus with spring loaded infusion tri stat drink which increases all of our resources by 3.6k. Now let's go into the gear. We're running the Witch Knight set, as I showcased in my last video on the Snipe Blade. We're running this in Nernhound, a Maul with a Poison Glyph on it. What this does is it adds 129 weapon damage, more weapon damage, even more weapon damage, and adds even more weapon damage against enemies afflicted with poison. On the back bar, we're running a Witch Knight's Resto Staff with Charged and Poison Damage, just so we can trigger that 5 piece. On the head, we're running a heavy Molankina's Visage in Divines and Max Stam. And we're running the Penanel's Aptitude set. Now, what we're doing with this set is to make it so we are actually a hybrid build. What this does is it adds 1.2k max health, 129 Stam recovery, 129 Mag recovery, and your spell and weapon damage both become the highest of the two values. This basically means that you can have... The highest of the two values, as you saw there, 4.5k weapon and spell damage. We're running this chest piece in medium infused with max mag. We're running Balorg's one piece to drive our weapon and spell damage up even higher with Divine's stamina and light. We're running Pelinor's medium belt in Divine's with max stam. Pelinor's braces, medium, Divine's, max stam. Pelinor's guards, medium, infused, max stam and Pelinor's Boots, Medium, Divines, Max Stam, with the Witch Knight's Jewelry all in infused and in more weapon damage. Now let's move on to the skills. For our front bar and our mall bar we're running a Dizzying Swing, as you can see we've got a massive tooltip of 13,000 there. We're running Executioner, which is our default execute. We're running Critical Surge to increase our healing and to increase our weapon and spell damage by 20%, this is our main damage booster. We're running Crystal Fragments, this ability is one of our secondary main bursts. And we're running Haunting Curse, which deals 11k after 3.5 seconds, so this is a nice burst ability, tie these two in together, they work very nicely. And we're running Ice Comet with a really high tooltip of 21,000, which stuns the enemy, and reduces their movement speed by 50%. Now on our back bar for our resto bar we're running rapid regeneration which increases our health which heals us for 16,000 over 5 seconds. Hardened ward which is basically our shield for the sork. Hurricane which is our resistance booster that costs stamina. Degeneration which is the mages guild damage over time ability that gives us major sorcery although that's not really needed. It's just a nice dot, and inner light to increase our mag on our back bar, and life giver as an oh no button, just in case we need to heal really urgently. Now on to the champion points. On the tower, we're running 30 points into Warlord. Up next on the lover, we're running 75 into Mooncalf, 75 into Arcanist, and 30 into Tenacity. 60 points into Tumbling. 40 points into Elfborn, an elemental expert. We're running these because it's a hybrid build, so we do really need to make it so our points are spread out evenly to help, our bo help us boost our damage for our magical abilities too. 60 points into Master Arms, 50 points into Precise Strikes, 30 into Piercing, and 50 into Mighty, 60 into Ironclad, 60 into Resistant, 55 into Hardy, an elemental defender, and 40 points into thick skinned. Now on the dueling footage in the bottom right hand corner you can see that I was fighting not AK with this build, he's on a Stam Sork and I'm on my hybrid and I do a lot of damage, I do lose but that's because this build is quite squishy. So if you wish you can swap out the light piece 
for a heavy bit, just so you're running 5 medium to heavy, or if you're not too fussed about the 15% weapon damage, you can just run 5 heavy pieces, it doesn't really matter. You'll still get the same amazing results, you'll hit so so hard, and I think you will all enjoy this build. If you run it in battlegrounds, the effects are very similar, you can hit very hard and also be quite tanky compared to the other opponents. But in Cyrodiil, I'd recommend that this is a sort of fast-paced uh, killer of sorts. You go around, you kill the enemy, you run away, that's all you can do because this build is quite squishy in CP. And that is it for the video guys, it's only a quick one today. I'm um, very busy with stuff, but I do just want to say thank you all so much. We've gone up 136 subscribers in the last seven days. I am amazed and I am so, so thankful. So please, please uh, keep showing your support, guys. Just click that subscribe button. Even if you don't click on the bell, it doesn't really matter. I get my views because you, you guys are all so amazing and loyal and dedicated to seeing my builds. And I'm really thankful for that. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'll be back next Tuesday with another build video. See you in the next one.